Our next song, Hectic With, is it cold or cold in? I don't know. Yesterday was a hard time. That was nothing that matter. If I can just find a reason to keep the sands chasing. Yesterday was a hard time. Why does my boy sound so tired of life? <laughs> Welcome to your 30s, Namjoon. You gonna get there. You gonna get there. So I'm guessing Seoul is the city he's talking about. At least I think, you know, obviously. Um, but yeah, my man is uh, <laughs> not in love with it, you know. Um, yeah, he, he seems bored and tired. Uh, again, that's based off the lyrics. But I mean, he wrote the lyrics. So I'm assuming, you know, there's like truth and honesty going on here. Um, but yeah, it's cool for him to express it. Of just being like, man. Shit gets tiring, you know, it does. Like, being the same people, talking about the same shit, and just like, we go and do whatever, and you know, I get drunk, and it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not exactly fun, you know? Yeah, it might look cool, you know? But the emotion that I'm having is not, like, uh, a positive one, I would say. At least that's what I get based off the lyrics and, you know, the sentiment of the song. Um... Production's really good. It feels like a late night kind of song. Like something you would drive to late at night. Um, 
or something that plays in like uh some like i don't know movie or tv show that takes place at night you know some uh like drama about you know people and nightlife something like that you know um yeah love the production the two of them and again i don't know how to say his name is it cold cold day i don't know but yeah he was great rm was great i love the part where each of them did like uh a rap and then like a verse and just like went back and forth near the end uh that part was great and then the way they end the song like you know saying we still hate this city um but even before all that and just everything that they did it's, it was really on point again i really like his voice and it like stands out and it works on uh, on an instrumental like this um yeah and another song that i think is relatable for many reasons you know again i i kind of joked i was like well you know nam june you know welcome to your 30s you know and you, you should, life does get this way people okay I'm 31 now and it's like you know shit gets boring after a while <laughs> why do you think i do this for free and no money this this is like enjoyment for me you know this isn't like part of my escape um but yeah like yeah it, it's a relatable track for sure again as he grows up and matures it's cool to see his music reflect that you know like he could have been stuck in the bts bubble and not that that's a bad thing but i'll talk about it at the end there because this album has made me feel a certain way about uh the members projects outside of the group you know but yeah it's really cool to see him talking about things you know that are real and uh using his music uh to express his real thoughts you know mm -hmm. so i love that song love that song all right next up wildflower with eugene the official music video longest song on the album let's go come on back Yeah, I'm 
That was incredible. That was incredible. I got teary-eyed. Goddamn. That was just so beautiful. So beautiful in every single way. The music video, uh, the production of the song, the feature, Eugene, sounding incredible. Um, like, making that chorus, really making that chorus uh what it is and yeah the lyrics and how raw and real he is everything about this is just it's incredible i'm gonna say this objectively speaking i think this might be the best song he's ever made now people will have their favorites you know but like this is something special it really is um musically i think it's so well put together uh like you see the fireworks this music video it has this like sweeping sort of epic sound it's emotional um it's it, it's again relatable with its lyrics um but it's like honest and it's from him as far as what it's talking about and Again, everything comes together to just create this masterful piece of art. And I was so blown away. So blown away. I'm so mad that I'm like two months late to this. Uh, but I'm here now. And my God, can, if I had to go back, this is going to go up into like my top 10 um, title tracks of 2022. But also just... One of my favorite pieces of work from that year. Like, this is just amazing. Um, yeah, like, dude, he put his heart into this for real, you know? Um, yeah. Getting into the lyrics a little bit, like, again, seriously, it's like how honest he is. And I was even going to talk about this at the end, but like, you know, when he's talking about the fame turning into shackles and not being himself. Um, 
all that, it, it's really on display throughout this whole album. But he really pinpoints the message in this song, you know, and about how he just feels so shackled and stuck and almost not himself. And like the flower field is almost like a metaphor of him just being free. Um, and what's really interesting is later on, you know, there's obviously uh, this scene where it's him at a concert. Um, and like, you know, the kind of parallels and differences between him on that flower field and him um, at this show. But in that, again, you know, th there's meaning behind that. And I'm sure, you know, people have broken it down. But yeah uh how no matter like how much fame he gets and again i said it, he's one of the most famous people in the world you know um he's still just that guy who's here in this flower field he's like a simple guy from a small town uh who achieved his dreams but still just like you know just a normal person going through like everyday stuff and again it's it's I just, I absolutely love it so much, man. Like, again, I said it. It might be his best piece of work that he's ever made as far as just song um, and even music video, in my opinion, you know. That's how much it hit me. Um, yeah, <clears throat> the lyrics are amazing. The music video is great. Eugene, so good on this. It's, um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just completely in love and blown away by this. Mm -hmm. yeah uh it's an amazing piece of work all right final song on the album number two with park g yoon let's go No, no, 
looking back, no, no looking back, no, no looking back, don't look back no more, no looking back, no, no looking back, 이제 네가 널 지켜줄 거야. You did good, Nam Jun. You did good. Perfect way to close the album. Like the "Don't Look Back" part. You know, you gotta protect yourself now. Just the whole meaning of like, you know, what's done is done. You know, you gotta keep moving, like he said, uh, in still life. Oh man, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a what an emotional roller coaster, and just. Uh, again, another song where I was just like, why am I getting teary-eyed at the end of this, you know? But, again, music just hits you sometimes, you know? Lyrics just hit you sometimes. Um, and, uh, yeah, this was another case of that. Park Ji-yoon sounded great on here. Again, I really only know her for, you know, coming-of-age ceremony. Um, but hearing her on here, I was like, wow, she's great, you know? Uh, it's great to hear her on something like this. Now, June sounded great on here. Um, like again, singing and rapping on this song and both of it is on point. Uh, again, lyrics, so relatable. Um, just, man, like, uh, like relatable, but the way it ends, like it's, it's again, comforting. There's quite a few songs on here that are like that, man. It's just like. I don't know, it's just, it's his ability to be relatable in this way, but just, um, like, relatable, honest, and just, you know, touch you in a way. It's something special that he has, you know? It's pretty crazy that this album is kind of like him reflecting on, you know, the past couple of years of his life, but to end it basically saying, don't look back no more. Uh, is a great way to just close this album and probably a chapter in his life, you know? It's like, again, he's being so honest, he's reflecting, and he's conveying his emotions through music. And at the end, he's sort of just like, you know, one, I gotta keep moving, and it's like, yeah, don't look back on stuff, you know? Um, life has, like, a ton of stuff ahead for you, you know? Even if you fall and stumble and all that, you know? Even if you do something today or you don't, whatever it might be, to whoever, you fail a test, if, you know, you don't get that job uh, that you wanted. It's just like you keep moving, you know, and uh, like eventually things will work out. So, yeah, great way to close the album and just amazing song once again. Two of them work together so well, too. Again, he worked well with everyone that he featured on here. Um, and yeah, just everything about this, not just this song, but this whole album has been beautiful. All right. So finally listen to it. RM's Indigo and my overall thoughts. It's pretty simple. I absolutely love the album. Everything about it from beginning to end. Not one bad song. Um, like musically it's all on point and there's so much of it that i loved i love yoon i love still life love all day love <laughs> i'll just basically say every damn song you know musically uh i just love the production uh him and when he's rapping or singing all the features are on point uh it's so well constructed from beginning to end the lyrics of course which you know again tie into the theme of the album and him being so raw and honest and it's like from beginning to end this at times doesn't even feel like a k-pop album this just feels like a music album slash uh artistic uh representation of kim namjoon's feelings that's what this feels like and Ultimately, it did end up just becoming this amazing piece of music, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm so thoroughly impressed with this. This 
is probably my favorite solo work from any of the BTS guys. And I don't want to compare because, you know, it's like they're all going to be different. Everyone's going to have their own thing. Um, but, you know, something's just going to resonate with you maybe more than something else. So for me, this, I mean, before this, it was Sugar's first mixtape, probably. But now, it might be this. It really is this, I think. Uh, yeah. It's, it's it's so good. So good. Uh, too many favorite songs to even name a top three. Again, I'll listen to it again. And it might change. But yeah, I mean, Wildflower. It, it's probably the favorite. And what's crazy is I think uh, Lonely. Is like right there with it. Those two are probably number one for me. But then you throw in Yoon, you know, um, throw closer in there. Number two, it's 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 basically the whole album. You know, it's it's yeah, it's great. Um, again, the lyrics, man. I really do have to thank him for like you know being this raw and honest. You know, he didn't feel like the K-pop idol, RM. He felt like Kim Namjoon, the person in this album. And that's something that I absolutely love because, um, and he says it kind of in Wildflower about like, you know, the whole thing about wanting to be himself. And this is probably my favorite piece of work, BTS related piece of work since Love Yourself Answer, which Love Yourself Answer is my favorite album from them, you know? with most beautiful moment in life young forever at like a really close number two but yeah it has been a quite a long time since uh, a piece of work from either bts or one of the members of bts resonated with me this much um like what made me fall in love with bts like uh near the end of 2015 and especially 2016 was everything in most beautiful moment in life and just how relatable that was at that time in my life for me it just you know not just the music but the lyrics and everything and the whole concept and lore and everything and same goes for the love yourself series like that's what made them my favorite group uh of all time and they still are you know um this feels like a return to form to something like that for me as far as just how much it resonates with me the content of the music uh the production and everything uh yeah that's why it's probably my favorite work you know since love yourself answer um like i love map of the soul seven um you know dynamite uh butter permission to dance those are all cool and everything uh, but one of the reasons that, um, I kind of started like not paying as much attention to the group is because those songs, well, yeah, they're cool. didn't resonate with me as much, you know, like they're just cool pop songs. And honestly, with all the groups that I've been getting into, they, there's better songs as far as, uh, something like that. Uh, this again is like, uh, it gives me that same feeling that I had when I first listened to, you know, most beautiful moment in your life, you know, anything from that. Love yourself, you know, it, it's really in that zone. And one of the reasons for that, I think, is because they have so much creative freedom now. And I'm really looking forward to what that means going uh, towards the future as far as their music, particularly, of course, with RM uh sugar like can't wait to see what he does and everyone else too you know what they're uh, gonna be working on uh i think he even said like again i'm on the wikipedia here but um like uh rm spoke about dealing with creative burnout and losing his sense of direction following the release of the band's fourth studio album map of the soul seven and the single dynamite again like dynamite's cool and everything but like for for a guy this creative and this expressive, you know, uh, something like this album is something he just like, kind of needed to do, you know, to express himself. And like, um, 
you know, again, he is one of the most famous people on the planet. He's part of the most famous K-pop group ever. Um, and, you know, he's also just a guy <laughs> navigating life. So all that, you know, between work and his personal life, it's like all that came together. Uh, and he needed to kind of vent a little bit with something like this. And I'm glad he got to do that, man. Like, this was probably therapeutic for him as well. So, yeah, it makes me happy that he got to do this, man. He got to work with people like he wanted to. Um, and, yeah, everything about this. One, uh, I love because of the music and what he gave me. But I also love the fact that he kind of got something off his chest, I'm sure, with this. And really just, like... Um, got to uh say what he wanted to say and uh let us know how Kim Nam Joon the person was feeling you know these past couple of years so yeah absolutely loved it and now that i finally listened to it i can finally go and watch like you know interviews and whatnot one that i especially want to check out is him and sugar just sitting and having drinks i, for I forget what the show is called but yeah um, I seen a little clip of it and I was like, oh snap, you know, I, I need to watch this because two of my favorite members, you know, and just, yeah. Uh, so I definitely wanted to, like, I was, th that's when I was like, yo, I gotta listen to this album, you know, and I'm so glad I did. Again, same with Wildflower. If I go back 2022, this album would be up there in my top 10. Easy, easy, man. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. Just a gem. It really is, man. And thank you, Nam June, for making it, man. Because there's going to be songs on this album that I will go and listen to uh, when, you know, uh, I'm going through something personal and I feel like his music and what he's saying can, like, you know, uh, in a way help me with that situation, you know. Because I think that's another thing that this album and the songs on it can do is just, like, you know, comfort people going through something yeah i love it i love it man i don't know what else to say i'm just completely blown away how good this was maybe not blown away I, it's just so much better than i thought it would be you know and again like i said it is for me a return to form of the bts that i love you know but of course with this being the nam june that i love so well done man well done all right That'll do it for this reaction, guys. Hope you enjoyed as always. Peace, love, have a blessed day. See you next time.